Gordon? Gordon's eyes shot open. Oh, no, please stay back. Oh, oh. Hello, hello, sir. Ah, lovely, lo lovely morning, isn't it? Uh, uh. No, Gordon, it isn't. Not when I've been dealing with passenger complaints all night. I hope you've got a good explanation for what's happened. W w well, s s sir, you see, I uh, was saw a, g a ghost train. Hmm. I beg your pardon, replied Sir Topham Hatt. It, 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 it was just like Thomas described. S sir, uh, c coaches with no engine p pulling them, g gliding through the night. Just then a creaking noise echoed through the yard. They've come back for me. They've come back for me. Oh, please, someone help. Out of the morning fog appeared Thomas, pushing the old coaches. Richard, he said, these were at my junction this morning. Did you play the trick without me? Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt, what have I told you about playing tricks? And now you've got Richard telling ghost stories and damaging rolling stock. No, no, sir, honest, stammered Richard. Well, except the ghost story part, that is true, sir. Whatever are you talking about? Surely you've heard of them, sir. They're trains that run during the night. No passengers to pick up or let off. Just empty coaches going through empty stations. I am aware of those, Richard, replied Sir Topham Hatt, but those aren't ghost trains. They're merely formalities. Trains running the bare minimum amount to keep branch lines from closing. A problem on the other railway, to be sure, but luckily nothing to worry about here. We reopen branch lines, remember, Duck and Oliver chimed. Oh, smiled Richard. Oh, well, that sounds much better than a ghost train. Uh, uh, but, but I'm afraid I don't know about bumping those coaches down the line, sir. I wasn't even in the yard after Thomas left. The only other engine would have been, um, well, James. James chuckled nervously. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, sir. Isn't that just like James, Thomas chuckled to Richard, playing our trick before we had a chance to? Well, uh, it seems he went a bit too far with it, too, frowned Richard as he watched Gordon catch his breath. That's just like James, too, smiled Thomas. <laughs>